Hi, this is Gary Tanner with Next Talk. I wanted today to do a brief overview of a new feature we are adding to our access communication platform called SpeechPath. SpeechPath is designed specifically for the deaf and hard of hearing uh, to be able to receive incoming phone calls and have the, the conversation converted to text for them to read. Um, so in this case, if I want to use that SpeechPath feature, I would make a selection in my software program of the type of a call I want to use and in a direct call I'm going to choose a VCO, a voice carryover call, which is most commonly used by the hard of hearing. This would be the baby boomer generation, our, our um, elders of our society who uh, due to age or health or whatever have had severe hearing loss, they can speak fine, they just can't hear very well. So VCO is a feature that's commonly used by them to communicate. Now typically a VCO call is done with a operator in the middle of the call. And when we introduced SpeechPath, we wanted to make an option where you didn't have to have an operator or a third person in the middle of that call. You could have the same privacy and the same confidentiality of having a point-to-point -point call that hearing people have. So SpeechPath provides that capability. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate a VCO call using that SpeechPath feature. And the first thing it's going to ask me is the number that I want to dial. This is who I want to talk to. So in here I'm going to put in the number 888-280-4331. Now that just happens to be the number for Amazon. I've got my telephone number. This is the number at the house. Uh, that could be my cell phone number if I was traveling. Again, this is a software program, so this can be on my tablet. This could be on my laptop. Um, it's not something I have to use only at home. It will default to my home number if that's what I provide it with, but I could change that to my cell phone number, or if I'm at a family's house, a friend's house, I could change it to their number. But this is basically the number I want to use to be able to speak back to that person who's calling me. And then, of course, there's regional influence. Are there accents I need to take into consideration? If I'm speaking with somebody up in Canada, they're going to say Z instead of Z. And the speech path uh, software program accommodates for that to make sure we're seeing the right thing. So in this case, we're going to leave it as English. And I'm going to go ahead and click Dial. And when I do, it's going to create the first leg of the conversation, which is to connect to the server. It's then going to create the second leg, which is it's calling my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and answer my phone. You can hear it ringing. And now that it's answered, I'm going to leave it on speakerphone. It's now Thank going to call Amazon. Thank you for calling Amazon customer service. This call could be recorded for quality assurance. For orders, deliveries, or returns, press 1. For Prime membership, press 2. For a Kindle device or Kindle book purchase, press 3. For all other questions, press 0. Just a moment, an associate will join you shortly. Okay, so as you can see, that was a conversation we had with, that was basically the outgoing message from Amazon. And the accuracy, I think that there was only one spot right here um, where it got it wrong. Everything else was 100% right. And once that call is done, as, as you can also see, I have the ability of saving it. If it's a conversation I had uh, with my the person that does my taxes, I want to archive that conversation. It may be a conversation I've had with my insurance agent regarding my, my homeowner's insurance or my automobile insurance. Again, I could save it if I wanted to. Or if it's just, you know, meaningless chatter between yourself and a family member, I can discard it and get rid of it. If I save it, it's going to go ahead and show up here in my inbox. And it's going to show up as one as a captioned telephone call that I had with that individual. So that's the speech path capability from Next Talk. Again, uh, part of the access communication platform that will give the deaf and hard of hearing community the ability to um, interact with a hearing individuals. Let them, um, I mean, you can literally at this point in stage just give them a telephone number, say, here, call me. Uh, when they call you, this program is going to take over. It's going to allow you to read what they're saying, allow you just to talk back, and then there's no need for a relay operator to be in the middle of a call.